You ready? There is a connection between the paranormal, UFOs, and the myths of ancient history. The clues are scattered across the landscape from a forbidden past. Maybe even in your own backyard. There is a connection between the true nature of our reality, consciousness, and the unexplained. I am Carl the Crusher. Let's explore the unknown. Not even really a road at this point. It's just almost like a trail. <sighs> it's so pretty up here. I can get over that. <laughs> I'm totally geeking out right now about where we are at and what we are doing. It's just so surreal. I'm ready. I am ready to do this. Yeah. Spent a long day. Well, I want to be able to set up shots properly and stuff. If I'm doing it now, they're not going to be the best shots yeah. in the world and things like that. You know? Well, so, yeah, it would also be good to do it when it was actually the right type of light. When yeah. the sun's all the way here, it was just cresting those mountains. We still had sunlight coming through the trees. Yeah. It wasn't dusk. Mm -hmm. uh, but you got, you got the meadow over here. Right. And this is like a ravine right uh -huh. here. But it's just a complete blind corner because the whole time you're here, you cannot see what's over there. Right. That's why it's the blind corner. To say there's trees in the middle of the next really a blind corner. I was, we were right here in the truck and it was in between these two, there's like a triangle somewhere. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, yeah, I see it now. I mean, it was just straight over there. Uh-huh. They came out of the brush straight behind it, the, 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 the young ones, and everything went that way. Uh, but I mean, I was, the truck was probably right, parked exactly right here because we uh -huh. didn't take this corner sharp. Uh, we ended up driving the truck down further to just to where it looked like we were going to get stuck, just right down here. Mm -hmm. And then where they disappeared and where all of it happened at is this hill line right here. And then as soon as those trees over there, it drops straight off and it goes down. And so a lot of it happened right over there. But I mean, it's, we'll have somebody stand there and we'll get right. everything figured out. But it all happened right here. If the body was anywhere, it'd be. As soon as you walk over there, you'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, I know, yeah. anything could be in here. Right. I mean, it's, it's like as big as a football field, almost these bushes, just right over here. Uh, that would be wherever it was. I heard it crash over here, um, but we never found it over there. Right. So, uh, where, where about was it standing when you shot? All the way down through there. It was down through there? Yeah. The See where this big tree is? Yeah, right in the middle. Uh, uh, yeah, right about there, but there's this certain triangle. Uh, just right, just to the left of that tree. Just to the left of that big tree? Yeah. Beyond, we're, we're, like a little further past it? Uh, or just about right? even with it. Really? Wow, right that's pretty up. freaking close. But when we range find that, I, I bet you it's 80, 90 yards. It's that's yeah. pretty freaking close though. Yeah. So what we'll do is tomorrow is we'll just jump in one car so we can like do the whole reenactment in the car. Yeah. You show what you mean by yeah. how you plan it your because for some reason that confuses people. I don't understand. You, you have to have a foot on the ground to be legal. Yeah. And you could shoot all these roads all day long. There's nothing illegal right. about that in so California. We'll, Any warden will tell you that. We'll do that. You can road hunt all you want. Um, and then we'll venture off and... Yeah. That's cool. See if we find yeah. any bone yeah. fragments, well, well, things yeah. like that. We'll, we'll go down there. I'll walk through the whole thing. Um, I've done now, you, you yeah. have found bone fragment in the past in those Correct. Yeah, yeah. I, I know exactly. I, I mean, it was, I, I can show you it's exactly amazing. where we did. And it was pretty much where we heard it crash. The bone fragments really should have been where the shot was, though. Right. Uh, so in that idea, it was something that was tearing it up that there ended up with fragments. Right, right, uh, right. Bones, and when the coyotes Maybe. are sitting there scavenging, when they chew it, Some just chatters. Some pine came through and tore the, the bone or something later. Gotcha. Wow. So this is... This is we'll reenact and measure and repace everything tomorrow. Yeah, and I, like I said, I got my range finder. We'll, we'll be able to have somebody stand right there. Uh, you got a big black shirt or something? I got a, oh yeah, dude, guy, I've got so. a black Carhartt jacket and everything. Nice. Yeah. Just so people can see you good. I mean, ideally we'd probably run through, no, I, I hate doing this. Yeah. I've done this a lot. <laughs> but ideally we'd probably run through it during the daytime right. just because we got all day. Uh, then we'd probably run through it right as the sun's setting just so there's accurate lighting. Uh, then maybe get some more shots of what I was actually seeing yeah. with that light. But right, well, right here, everything looks so bright on camera. Yeah. It wasn't quite like that. I mean, as yeah. soon as that sun starts to disappear, where you still got a little right. bit of light coming through through the trees, I mean, that, that's where it was. Which, yeah. 
Where did where did the the younger ones come out of? Straight over here. I mean, the, the, these closest out of all those Christmas shorter trees, sapling things. Yeah. Uh, where it's really thick. I mean, over to the left a little bit. I see. Uh, where where the big tree is to the left, twenty yards and straight in. That's they, they just think. they emerged out of there and yeah. came down that little hill and yeah. that started running that way. Like exactly. earlier. Wow. Yeah, and I did have the kill shot just as he's disappearing over there. That that's where I could have put one in his ass. And then right. Which that was what was different. That was different. Yeah, I was like, but I didn't even like to me it didn't even matter. You know, yeah. like at that point. It's well, like, like like Bart always said, he said, well, your stories obviously are not rehearsed, guys. Yeah. Because they're not good enough. Right. <laughs> um, but, uh, and no, like, they, there should be, uh, he always says there, there should be stuff that basically contradicts itself where people, where, where we disagree. Uh, I had the kill shot, I'm squeezed, and I hear, oh, my, there's more. Or he yeah. said something like, oh, shit. Something along the line. Oh, shit, there's more. Yeah, no, that's, that's exactly what he said. Oh, shit, there's more. Did the little ones come out on two feet or four? Uh, we were just kind of caught movement. I, I, I couldn't say for yeah. sure. Uh, when I, when I, when my eye focused in on the movement, they were definitely on all fours. Gotcha. I mean, they, they were on all fours almost all the time, but then, you know, they would stop, stand up, and then they, they'd go back. Right. Almost like, not like a toddler, but... Like a chimp. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah, so exactly like that. So... This is it. The truck was, I mean, yeah, and we'll, we'll run through it as, as many times as you guys want. It's wanted. gorgeous we'll up here. Wow. This, this is great. I'm totally excited about you, this. You've never been here, right? No, You've been, never here. Never to this particular Not that many people have been here. I mean, but there's like eight that came with like Maljan Manichensky and right. Catino and Randalls. So, um, How many times have you been back here? To this exact spot? A dozen. Maybe maybe fifteen. Has anybody spent? I guess you guys spent the night out here before. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I uh, of those times, I probably spent spent the night every time. So I've spent maybe fifteen nights out here. Um, but I've spent more time just outside of here because that's where I found. And, I, and I'll show you guys like in the pictures and all that. That I was trying to get back up here. This is one of the highest peaks. This is seventy two hundred feet right here. Mm -hmm. I was trying to get back up here, but there was freaking seven feet of snow. There was no way to get back up here. I thought if I can get my dog and just work harder and dig harder yeah, and, and find something pretty else. Pretty obvious now, like, uh, oh, yeah. And so this is there is rugged. four different ways to come in here. You got Sierraville down here. Uh -huh. You got Gold Lake right here. You got Bassett's right There's four different entrances. You know how we came to a four-way stop? There's four different ways to get up here. So I'm taking a road up here this way. Oh, shit, I can't make it up. Then I can almost make it up this way one weekend, and then two weekends later, I come up this way, and I, I kept trying to get as close as I can. I only wanted to get within two miles, and then I would walk. Couldn't right. even get that close. During that time period, I basically combed this whole hill. Over eight weekends, I combed this, in, you know, within a four-mile radius, trying to come up this way, come up from Bassett's, come up from Sierra City, come up from 89. I tried every way to get in on this hill. And in doing that, one of the days, I found some tracks in an area just a couple miles over there, and that's where I believe, believe that they moved it. I don't think we'll ever have any action right here. Yeah. I mean, why would they ever come back here? Right. This is like a no-no zone. This is mm -hmm. bad, bad shit happened here. There's no reason for them to come back here. But I believe that they moved two, two and a half miles that way, which for whatever reason, it's like a 40 minute drive. Um, but uh, you guys will see it. And that, that's where I've been with three different big researchers and found tracks, just three different three guys. Three, been back three times, found tracks three times with different witness, with different yes. researchers. All this week, all uh, right before archery season. Archery this season, week of the year, this you week mean. Of the year. Archery season comes yeah. up and all these hunters come in here and then all the animals gradually get pushed out. We probably saw 35 deer on the way in here. Yeah. Uh, just, just as a lead car, but I asked Sean, no, I if, I asked Sean if he wanted to, to take pictures of him or anything like that. He's like, oh, fucking no, stupid No, tomorrow, tomorrow when I have the, the good camera out, the big camera out, yeah. we'll, we'll get okay, lots of good deer. shots of the wildlife for everybody. Well, they usually, usually um, they walk in a camp. I mean, there, there's deer right here. There's a lion that was hanging out for a long time right in here. Uh -huh. I, I've seen it twice. It almost like claimed this area right here because yeah. it's very territorial to see right. a lion twice in an area like this. They have a home range of 50 square miles. So for it to pick this area, something was going on there. So maybe the lion scavenged you, huh? Lions aren't typically scavengers. They're very, very picky. Yeah. So they'll eat a little bit and be like, oh, screw that. I'm just going to go get another right. deer. I mean, they're killers. They More. go out and they kill a deer, eat 5% of it, and yeah. they say, ah, oh, I, just, I just want the liver. I'm going to keep going. Right. Uh, but they will scavenge. Yeah. 
So. No, it's incredible. I, what's the big scavenger in there? Coyotes? Coyotes. Coyotes. Yeah, hundreds of thousands of them. Yeah. I mean, just freaking thick. So it's common for a cougar to just eat the liver? Yes. Because that's a, a common theory among Bigfooters is that the Bigfoots kill the deer and just eat the liver. But uh, maybe just the, cougar kills. A, a, a normal thing is to have the liver and the heart missing, the throat ripped out, nothing else touched. Uh, they, they, they don't, they kill one every week. They kill a deer every week. They don't have to be picky. Like they, they, with the collars, we've seen that with research. I mean, they kill a deer every single week. And they're picky about it. There's something high protein, something, I don't know. All right. Let's do this. Dude, I'm ready. I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. I'm trying to soak this all in. Oh, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's uh, having the having the. I breathe uh, so well. It's like, oh, my sinuses are clear. Having the pasture on the right and the blind corner all fits with the way I imagined. Okay. The actual scene and layout is obviously different, but it's pretty close to what I had in mind. Like, yeah. I for some reason imagined it getting shot and then running over a ridge away, but them actually going to the right. That's going to be interesting because that's thick down there where it ran into. Thick. Look at that down there. We're gonna be poking around all over here for the next like two or three days trying to find bones. We're gonna go up to where uh, he thinks they may have moved to. And we'll go from there. It's exciting. <laughs> it's very exciting. So this is our ingenious, one of a kind, first time ever uh, video processing battery recharging station that we've cranked out of this <laughs> Ford Focus rental. We've got the, the bucket seat, the bucket, comfortable bucket seats. We have off of one cigarette lighter right there. Follow that cord down to a power converter, which is plugged into the green uh, <laughs> surge protector. And then we have the laptop power off of that we have one uh, cool picks p500 camera getting charged there uh, off of this USB and then we have the laptop fully functional and right now I have this external one terabyte hard drive I have another one in the in the in the back seat and off of this USB we're recharging and getting footage off of my GoPro Hero 2. We're going to get the footage off of this camera this exact same way so that we can constantly keep our 32 gig SD cards empty and we can have a station to recharge all of our batteries with the power converter and no matter what kind of battery, battery we've got, um, the surge protector, we're going to be able to every day if we fill up all our SD cards and drain all of our batteries. We'll just be able to let the car idle and recharge. It's not going to be a problem. Let's we'll come and check it, keep an eye on it, and good to go. But this is perfect. Power converter to the rescue. Get me, okay? Yeah, hold on. Wait, shh, shh, shh. Something's walking over there. Where? No, it doesn't. It's right there. <gasps> Justin. Those were steps. Justin. Whew. Hey. Something's walking over here. Come here. I freaking heard footsteps. I'm not kidding. Um, I'm going to walk up to the stump so I can... Oh, there's a deer. Right mm -hmm. there, yeah. Yep. Okay, there it is. There it is. That's not a blob squatch, folks. That's a deer. That's a deer. That's a deer. <laughs>
That sounded those that footfalls. That sounded like footsteps coming those down the hill. Those footfalls sound heavy for a deer. It was was, a deer. Yeah. Deer. A female deer. <laughs> okay, Sean. <laughs> that got real for a second Hold on. though. I'm not gonna lie, that got real fast. Dude, you could shoot that thing so easy right now. Look at the ears on that. That's the only kind of shooting I've ever done. Not to be a party pooper or anything, but. It's gone closer. You did that, Sean. You brought out the deer. Never serious. That's a long ways off, man. It looks a long ways off through the through the camera. Yeah. Yeah. It's a doe. Sean, he's ADD big time. He's already tree knocking over. There. Oh yeah, he's probably down at the Bassett station, huh? Oh yeah, we gotta go get David. Okay. Oh, well, that was cool. That 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 got kind of intense for a second there when we heard the footfall you coming. Heard two. Oh, you could hear coom coom. You just heard coom. No, it's just you can't you know, tell, man. It's just too heavy. It leaped. It's it's the way it's jumping, you know. Right, but under the circumstances, yeah. <laughs> and where we're at, and la larger than average poo, and then Sean does a howl, and we're at the site of all sites right and now. Site of all sites, right. <laughs> Yeah, our camp is right there. Yeah. The kill site is literally just right over there. We're standing right over there and shooting it that way. Oh, I know it's really hard to see you guys, but they're um, they're all back there. Camp, you can't even see them. I'm probably um, 50 yards away from camp by myself, and I'm walking down the road. I'm gonna get a waist down here and then I'm gonna do one uh, whoop and then wait and do another. Um, by myself to try and get a response away from the camp. I'll be back in a sec. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty scary to come out and do this by yourself. Um, after the polygraph, and being basically 100% sure that these things are real. And not to mention just the idea of a bear. <laughs> In and of itself is pretty spooky. I can't see anything unless my light's on. It is pitch black. have my light on is not very comforting anyway. It's not like I could do anything. I do have a can of 
bear spray, that's a garbage bag. Hmm. So far it's pretty quiet though. see anything. Alright, here we go. Are you sure? Looks like a raccoon by my house. I'm house. zooming in, but I can't see anything. Right there. Right there. Yeah, that's definitely it. Are you sure that's not like a freaking cougar? That looks feline to me. Then it's a bobcat. small. It looks feline. Not if it's laying down. Dude, I can't even see. Are you spooked out? <laughs> I just spooked myself, I think. <laughs> dude, you can't do that to me, dude. <laughs> well, we said, let's go see if we can see eyeshine somewhere in the tree line. And we just freaking did. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 
That looked like a cat to me. It, it looked, looked like a raccoon to me. It right. looked too tall to be I'm a nice. raccoon from this distance. Okay. The same height. Where? The same height on the ground. Right over here. The, uh, I kind of, we, that one, there it is. It's still there. There it is. It's still there. Chilling. Yeah. You can't, they can't see anything on this camera right now. Yeah. It's terrible. We need your big blast light. Oh, I'm telling you, I keep fucking. <laughs> We're not messing around. There's like stuff moving around out here right now. It's very active right now. Listen, shh, shh, shh. listen. Back up a little bit. It sounds like something is crawling through the now you're really just brushes right there, dude. No, there's something. There is definitely eye shine. No, that was. Yeah, but it's like small, it's though. like a blue green color. Yeah. Oh, way over there. But. Uh, yeah. Chew. The there, there's the eye shine again. It's right there. I really want to see what that is. Want to walk across the meadow? Not if it's a cougar. I don't. Oh. It's too small for a cougar. Dude, that's a long ways though. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy, dude. Do you want to walk over there and see what, what runs off? Let's go. Okay. We didn't come out here to be pussies. No, absolutely not. Should we go for it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad this is like the behind the scenes. Okay, wait. Let's just see what we see right now. We need like a big million candle watt uh, spotlight. Where did it go? It's gone, dude. As soon as we started moving forward, it sprinted. It did? Well, I mean, I haven't seen it since we started moving forward. So. <laughs> dude. This whole footage is just gonna be audio. It's just, I swear, we're gonna have to like amplify the gamma like crazy. Yeah, they, they came to my house, they asked to look around, and I denied them entry. I said, no, absolutely not. They said, we're gonna be right back here, 10 minutes tops, we're gonna have a warrant. You just need to cooperate. We're gonna come in, look around, ask you a few questions. We're in and out in 10 minutes. All we need to do is look around, talk to you for a little bit. We got a couple questions. I said, no, no, you, you showed up here. I wasn't expecting this. I'm nervous. I'm super nervous. I'm sh visibly shaking. And uh, do we, anybody is when they see fishing game. Like, they're scary. But uh, they, they did, they had the green jeans. People call them, the, you know, they'll say, oh, did you see the green jeans? Like, that's a normal thing, I say, because they have green car heart jeans. And they, they, it's just a normal thing. And they have a green truck. Um, yeah, they, they said, you know, I'm blah blah blah, I'm with Fish and Game, wanna come in, look around, ask you a couple questions. We'll be in and out, 10 minutes, we just got a couple questions, we gotta look around, we'll be in and out. You really need to let us in. You need to let us in. I was like, no, no, no. I said, okay, we'll be back in here in 10 minutes. You just need to let us in, cooperate, we'll go easy on you. I said, no, I don't have anything to say. So, uh, they leave, uh, then I'm out of there. I, I, I had a sample in the freezer. Uh, uh, and they, they specifically told you what you were there for yes well yeah that no that, that came up because i was like what's this about guys is this about like deer it's about like uh you know elk or bears and one of them yeah he said uh this is about the shooting of two sasquatches in october in the uh sierras and then the other one looks at that one like what's oh, supposed to say that you, you can't say sasquatch you know it was just a look so i'm there's a, some assumption there but when somebody says something they're not supposed to say, he was like, Psh. it was, it was like, 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 like one of those. And he's huh. like, well, there's some assumption there, but that's, that was my impression. Uh, from, so they, they, they said, you know, we just need to come in. It'll be 10 minutes. Just let us in. I said, no. So I had the door locked behind me. I stepped out, locked the door. I said, no, absolutely not. And they knew if they didn't have a warrant and they couldn't come in. I was pretty sure. 
So they said, all right, we'll be back here in 10 minutes. 10 minutes, we're gonna be back here. Okay, and they had the fishing game truck. They had, they had the green Chevy or whatever it is, with the lights on top. They had that. They had the AR-15 in the front. It was definitely a fishing game truck or borrowed or something for all I know. Um, they leave, I go out, cut the sample up, distribute it around, hide it everywhere I can think of. Uh, then a couple days later, uh, with a lawyer present and with counsel, and Bart was there, and th there was a, some law enforcement that had my best interest on the phone. We called Fish and Game, said, hey, so you guys came to my house, you guys asked me about this, I tell you what, I'm ready to confess, we'll tell you everything we want to know, I'm totally ready to cooperate now. Sorry about before. I want to come in and get things off my chest and just tell you exactly everything you want to know and I want to provide you with a sample of the flesh for free. I said, We're going to think about this. We'll get back to you and just give us a little bit of time. So like two days later my phone rings and it's the district sergeant. I can't tell you what his name is. I don't know. The district sergeant for uh, Orangevale office probably because uh, that's the closest one to my house. I don't think they sent the one from this office up here, three hours from my house. Uh, that guy called me back and he said, hey, so uh, you know what, Justin, we've just decided to, we're going to drop this whole thing for now. We'll be in touch in the future more than likely, but uh, we're not going to actively investigate this. Uh, that was all that ever really happened with it. I had another fishing game. There was two fishing game wardens that I kind of cornered. It was just at a, a, a party social event. It was a bunch of hunters there and I kind of cornered them because I knew them and they had, had a bunch of run-ins with them in the past. Just They're, they're just checking my license. No, nothing serious. I've never had a violation. Um, and I kind of cornered them and I, I had a bunch of like different, there was like a bunch of chippies there and a, a bunch of California uh, Highway Patrol couple sheriffs there. It was just a, a party, a social event, but I knew who they were. They knew who I was. And I cornered them. I was like, hey, so let's talk about this. And I, I explained to them the whole story within, you know, I probably summarized it in two minutes. And they're like, yeah, no, we don't. I'm... I said, what? What? Well, either I'm telling the truth, you know something I don't, what do you know about this? And they said, uh, I don't really have any interest in talking about this with you. I said, what, do you, what does it mean? I said, I'm not going to touch that with a 10 foot pole. That's what that means. I don't know. I don't have a theory. I just, that's what happened. That's it. That's all I got. Do you, did you get the impression that they know the Bigfoots? Well, my, my just complete assumption and speculation that's based in nothing other than the what you just say is to me, it sounds like they may have encountered at some point a type specimen and didn't know what to do with it and it's just kind of like this thorn in their side you know like like officially there might be they have no classification they have no no future plans but like maybe they had encountered some uh, some scat or and, and have their own DNA yeah, study or well, something. Well, the pictures or, that they have, they have cameras all over. Yeah, I mean, fishing well, game has this an is what extensive I heard. amount of cameras. I heard that after people heard what happened, they started calling the fishing games. And yeah, no, I I, yeah. I I I got Facebook messages. Hey, I turned you in, you fucking poacher. Yeah, it's over and over and over. I'm like, yeah, okay. Rick Dreyer's trying to do I it again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, so, no, we know that a lot of people yeah. called and reported. Yeah, and, and yeah. so they have to investigate. Huh. So, yeah. so they're going to come and say, hey, you know, what about that Sasquatch? What do you think they would have done if you let them in? Like when you had the whole piece, do you think I know, they would have taken it? I don't know. It? So I, how, did you, how did you break you don't know. up the body into so many parts that you could move it that fast? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to lead him don't on. Don't try to pull me. <laughs> He's pulling a Sean evidence there. Yeah. <laughs> was just, I, I had the Trump Sean on this. <laughs> good, good, good. Well. So, you know, you wouldn't let me see the body. No, no, there is totally a logical explanation from this, from Fish and Game standpoint, where they could say, yeah, we had eight phone calls. We had to go investigate. Yeah. We told him, hey, we'll be in and out in 10 minutes. We just need to talk to you, look around, we're done. I mean, that's what yeah. they said. Yeah, and, and, and there's and a young guy who was probably just like... There was, being, there was, there was, there was, there was two of them. There's a, there's a young um, Fish and Game yeah. warden. Yeah, and, most um, of them, yeah. yeah. yeah he, he, he's probably just being obnoxious and saying, hey, what about the Sasquatch? And his friends go, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I don't know. But uh, 
Yeah, I mean, it's very possible they had a very logical explanation. They have nothing to do with this. And like, hey, ask you a couple questions. So we're in and out. This will be really simple. We'll have an answer for those eight phone calls we received. And the answer, hey, we investigated this. It was a dead end. Mm -hmm. That's possible. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not disputing that. It just, hmm. I, a lot of assumption on my part, no matter what I say. Like, do I get the impression they were there to cover something up? I get the impression if they looked in my freezer and found something that it would have gone away with them. They would have took it. Well, I, I, that's would have definitely happened. There wasn't even a deer over here, I don't think. Do you guys want to go out on there? Just check it out. I don't know. I don't care. I'm down. Let's go down there. We're standing right where you took the shot, Justin. He was right well, yeah. on camera. It's like <laughs> pitch black. There's no difference. But right, we're standing right where the shot was taken. What if we went and hit the tree right there, go. where it was? Let's go. Let's go down the road a bit. Sean, the, Sean's feeling brave because he's got all of us here, and he can run faster than the fat Carl. Um. <laughs> Isn't it kind of hard to walk down on this? Is it easier? Don't yeah, want to roll your. Yeah, you can don't want to roll your. I'm fine. Ankle. I'm fine. Yeah, let's go. Okay, here we go. Yeah. We're walking down right where it was when it got shot. I don't want to smack a tree, Justin. Yeah, let's go. 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 Let's We were sitting here talking. Justin and I were sitting here talking. Everybody else, everybody else goes to bed. Okay, I'm just recounting it in my mind. I gotta record it so I like have it straight. Mm -hmm. and don't get mixed up. I'm sitting right here in my chair. Yeah. Justin is sitting right here in his red chair. My battery's already going dead. Oh my gosh. And we're talking middle of middle of our conversation. Down past our cars, we hear. Something walk, a freaking Sasquatch on two legs. I didn't see it, but I can't think of anything else that it would be under the circumstances. And it goes, we hear, it sounds like an elephant walking on two legs. It was huge. It was, I've never heard anything that big going crunch, 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 crunch. It was walk. stomping. It was stomping. It was like boom, boom, crunching. Yeah, like it was quiet. There was nothing until it gets right up close. And then it gets right out here between, you can hear the footsteps and it stops in between our cars and the trees. And then about 40 yards up in the trees further, we hear crunch and there's like a twig snap. Did you hear the twig, the branch snap? Yeah. It's like crunch, snap, like 40 yards up further. So there's all of a sudden we're like, there's two. Justin looks at me when we hear the footsteps. He looks at me, he says, they're here. And I immediately started thinking, where's it? We gotta get a camera. My camera's in the car. My car is right in front of that thing. I'm not going down there. <laughs> so I thought, I gotta wake up, bro. And Justin keeps saying, just wait, wait, don't move, don't move, don't move. And I'm like, we're here to get I video thought evidence. We were gonna be dude. able to, to see him good because they only needed to take one more step out of that tree line. We but would have seen him clear as day. My mind was like, I'm here to film this thing. I'm here to film it. They know exactly what they're doing. They do. I mean, that. Well, here's the thing is, as soon as we got you up and the camera on, as soon as we start getting you out of the tent with your camera, the one down here between the cars and the trees starts moving back, like in the same direction it came from. Yeah, oh, that, that's crunch, what I said, I can see it, I can crunch. see it. And he's saying he can see it. This one up here never made another noise. Right. And then so we take the camera, and that's when you start turning the camera on, 
and we we freaking nut up and go down the road to our imminent oh, it, to our I'm imminent looking, doom. <laughs> I'm looking for my freaking boots. And then we hear them, and then we hear them down, basically where. Yeah, there's by the creek, the by the somewhere. washout. There's uh, yeah, the stump, somewhere. and there's the creek washout yeah, over there. Yes, yes. And we can hear them stomping through the trees down there. Let's leave the lights off for a little bit and see if they come back. I'm serious. I don't know if they will. I'm just saying. Let's be non-threatening and we pretend were like. Fucking spooning. Yeah, we you were, guys. I was feeling comfortable. But we went clear down the road looking for them, like and I'm you could hear them crunch, very confident crunch. That between now and tomorrow at this time. If we don't, if we don't show like we're bugging out, like that was an attempt to scare us off. If we stay and we remain calm and we plan this, like they'll, I think, I don't know. I'm just guessing What's that they'll guess come back. Guessing? What do you not think? Coming back. I, I would think that they would have to between now and tomorrow To night. try and get us out of their area. Or to just have a peek and like, oh, really? They're still here? They might come in in stealth mode. I mean, I would, I would think, well, they, they definitely start at stealth mode. Oh man, we need thermal. Like, no joke, we need thermal. Those, whatever that was, was like huge. Like, I can't explain how loud it was. I've heard, like, like, huge cows moving through the trees, like, on open range, like, in the forest, stomping on pine cones, and it was nothing compared to, like, the crunching and the I've had two steps, two, like, one at a time, crunch, crunch. It was like Jurassic Park, dude. I've had seven bears within ten yards of me in a tree stand. Right. And five of them were this year, recent enough that I would know. Right. You don't hear them. Anybody that hunts bears say... You cannot hear a bear come in. Besides that, I could I, they, see They probably could have come it, it just, right it, up it behind us. A, it, it, it wasn't a bear. I could see it. No way. I mean, no, I could see it. Like, I know it. I could see it. Yes, I could see a silhouette, yes. But a silhouette that was, you know. Huge. That just was too, I mean, that was, I mean, a bear's going to stand what this tall, the silhouette was. Freaking, they're freaking giants, man. The whatever was walking up the road here. I don't know about the one up there wasn't as loud but the one down by the road was but, huge i mean it had to be to make that kind of sound two coming totally up different areas, like the road there's no roads coming in from that way there's like no way that anybody hiked over or like hoaxed us or found out where we were and tried to play a prank there's no, no the way. road ends right there there's freaking no nothing over no there nothing i mean people know we're here but no one is here no so not right where we out. are I've never heard anything like that, ever. That was crazy. The sun's finally coming up, and I got a new battery in uh, the camera. Rose down there. Uh, Justin's walking through that way, just on a hunch. Um, okay. <clears throat> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait and have somebody... I'm going to have Roe film Justin and I. We, overnight close like right here had something huge very very large and heavy making loud loud stomping noises that walked up through the trees going crunch 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 it walked all the way up through the trees came right up here it was somewhere I didn't see it I didn't see it but I absolutely 100% heard it walk up to our camp it was in between the cars and the tree line right here and then another one um oh geez man it was it was intense another one higher up here all of a sudden goes we hear crunch crack like a limb snapping very like almost very intentionally um yeah We'll have Justin and I recount the whole story. Not that anybody's going to freaking believe us because I at one point had, I had my flashlight uh, up at the camp in my hand like this, pointed right at where the thing was standing. I had it pointed right at it and Justin was saying, hit it with the light. Turn the light on, turn the light on, turn the light on, like so that we could see it, but I didn't have a camera and I knew that Roe, I had a, I, I think, I, I remember that Roe took a camera into his tent. So it's like, we gotta film it, we gotta film it, we gotta film it. And so instead of turning the light on and actually seeing that thing right in the face, standing like right here, right here, 
I chose to go unzip the tent and wake up Roe. And then as soon as I started unzipping the tent, you could hear it crunch, 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 going back through the trees, back through the tree line, like along here. And the other one that was uphill never made another sound. And then Ro got up and we, we nutted up and went down the road all the way clear down there to the dry creek bed and we could hear it clear down there off in the distance in the trees the one that went back through the trees was still moving way over there and you could hear it crunch crunch way off in the distance over there moving away from us the one up here never made another noise but it was seriously felt like we were like running to our ultimate death because whatever that was was massive from the sound of it massive Walking on two legs, on two feet. Okay, what's what's going on, dude? Uh, I, I, the idea is that maybe something was had snuck up on us last night, or you know we thought we heard something. Yeah. Uh, so I got up on top because everything's going to approach usually from up top. Right. From uh, yeah, up a better downward. viewpoint. Yeah. But I got up there and I started. I listened to you guys talk. You guys were talking about whatever. I could just barely hear you guys. It was kind of quiet from up there. And so I tried to figure out if I was sneaking up on you, where would I go? Well, the road's way out of the way. Right. It's like <clears throat> way, like you have to walk all the way. The road's not right here. It's like way over here. But it's straight, straight from here to here. I got tree cover. And then you can see spotty tracks. Right. That's it. It's good as it's going to get. But there's a, there's, it's. Show me where these spotty tracks are. Am I stepping in them? Is it that one there? See how this is, everything's moved right here? Yeah. When we walk up and down this, you're not going to be able to find our tracks. Okay. Here. Mm -hmm. and here. Right. Here. Mm -hmm. here. This isn't a very big stride. Right. Here. Good. <clears throat> oh, mm. holy shit! Here. shit. Here. Those are freaking big ass footprints. That is. So I don't know if that's. This is what I did. Is I stepped right here. We gotta cast that, dude. I'm racing. I'm racing. Huh? But, uh, Careful where you're stepping, dude, because it like came from up. here. Look, it's not gonna stop. We can follow him. Oh, you can't lose him right here. But that, if you step right there, it doesn't leave a track. It just leaves an indent. So how would you leave a track? Wait, I'm way bigger than you. Let me come hold this camera and let me try that. Okay, we have. I, I, I don't think it's because I because I, I well definitely look at this look at this whoa I gotta get my tape measure I don't think that I think it's only this big because look at this one look at that one what do you mean like I think it's this big I think that it, this one like something like, like that. it skid like it right there or oh my gosh dude. Like, Going like that. Right. That's, that's what I have to do to make a track here. There's another one right there. Look at how and small. There's another one. But look right there. That's. We'll get a tape measure. We'll get a tape measure, and we're, we're gonna. We're, 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 we're definitely inches. gonna. We're definitely gonna cast this, and we're gonna film and measure the stride and everything. Because <clears throat> I was worried. Well, <gasps> oh, <what>? dude. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. Well. Let's measure it. Because that looks like it's 25 inches or something. <laughs> Crazy. And this looks like it's uh, 14. But there's 20 tracks between here and there. This is the only one that's good. This is the only one that's castable. Wait, these are this? Or these three. Anyway. Well, um, look at this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this, though. This is just the ball of the foot. There's a big toe, big toe, smaller toes. That's like the ball. Look at this. See, I'm not sure that the look. track's on a claw or something. I don't know, but look. 
you've got the heel, the heel all the way back here. Oh, I do see Look, that. toes, toes. No, they're not, they can't huh? Look at that. Look at where it's pushed. Look at where it's pushed. Know. That's from but there to there. Here and there, there is. The road. They're going this way. After, it's, they like circled clear around. After that could have been this could have been before or after us. They're here, dude. Wow. This is fresh. This is last night. This stuff. is last night. Oh yeah, no, for yeah. sure. Because you you could see like I didn't walk up here and see this. I walked over that. Wow, like, dude. Okay, you can tell it's something went through here. That looks like that looks like it goes all. If we cast this, we have to go all the way. I thought they were supposed to have like a seven foot stride. Depends on how fast they're moving. Oh, if they're sneaking? If they're sneaking, man. They're moving. I don't know. I, mean, I don't this, know. This is definitive. This is absolute. This is, right? Yes. Yes. This is, this is the cast. Yeah, this is the footprint. This is as good as it's going to get. Is there anything before this? Or did it no, come? No, no. This is where, oh yeah, it comes up the yeah. trail here. Wow. So, step. It was able to step over this somehow without making a noise. Well, like I was saying, if you step in here, you leave, I don't. You don't really leave tracks. Let me. Me and you don't. You, you can see that something stepped there. Right. But like, I'm a big guy. I weigh. Okay. Like, if I come right here. Start looking for scat too. Like all my weight, 320 pounds. Like there's that. If I go like as hard as I can, it's like not even close to that. Even if this in the softer stuff right here, it's like if I stomp hard, I'm like. Nothing even. Well, that's. I, I think that they were. No, I can't. I think they were like stomping us out. Like the. Okay, so we got. They circled us while we were sitting around the campfire. They circled us. Camp, here's where we are. Footprints right here coming through here around the curve camp Right there They have the high ground circling around looking at us There's another one here It might pick up though if we keep going through the natural direction where it's headed. Wow, dude. I'm heading this way. I got cover. Either left or right. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that right there? Is this, is that a f part of a heel? Like a skiff? Could have gone through this way. Something went through right here. Something through right there. 
How did we not hear him crunching on this stuff? This is going to lead us right to where we sat. It's like a burnt stump over there. It's going to have to go up here. That's like super stealthy. That's like... How do they not make a noise when they're crunching on all this stuff? We can't... I, I... Well, we're talking, I guess, around the campfire laughing and stuff. You would never hear that. Like, no. me walking like that. If a bear can do it, they can do it. I just keep looking uphill, man, waiting to see something watching us. I can't help it. No, the deer really started moving through here. So. Well, we, we could be 10 yards off, but if we go straight, we'll run into it between here and... No, we won't run. Let's get the tape measure and the and the plaster. Uh, let's take a whole bunch of pictures, frame of reference. The whole time it stayed above us, looking down. The whole time it stayed above us looking down. Yeah, I'm gonna say, yeah, well, it's all I have to look at the car. Okay. It ends up over there. Right, I'm just trying to figure out. I mean, it made sense if I was trying to sneak up on you guys. Right here, you're so close. Not after dark. No, I know. So if somebody got a thermal or something, it should be a no brainer. Slam dunk. We're, we're just kind of. A... Look at it from over there. Was it right here? One of them was like right up here, yeah, somewhere. The second one was up in this area for sure. Man, I'm like, like a I mean, I tripping out right now. The entire night, not a single one of us left camp out of sight, went walking anywhere no. at all. You Ex and I went up to like that tree or so. There was, and, um, and uh, Sean ran and touched the tree at one point, but that was about as silly as we got. You know what? That's actually a lot more intense when you think about what could have been right there. Yeah. <laughs> right? Right. No more going on. I went over there to pee. walks by yourself. I went. It could have very well stood on this, and that's what we heard the popping noise on this big dead tree. Wow, dude, this thing circled us. These guys, these guys are stealth. They're freaking crafty. I'm telling you what. And they stop here. Yeah. yeah. Good as it's gonna get for pine needles. Hold on. You think he laid here? There, no, there's just oh footprints. Or like what 
We need like to get flags. Yeah. We're up to like, like landscaping flags. Okay. okay. No, the, the other one was over here. Yeah, it was way down there. To, no, 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 no. All right. I don't know. Are you thinking this is all one, all one Sasquatch? Because I, because I could hear the crunch, crunch, crunch coming up through the trees down here, and then there's no way unless it like jumped 60 feet, because it was like crunch, 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 and then like. We heard the crunch, and I looked up and I saw this white thing right here. I, I think if you stood up down there, you would agree. Do you, do you want to do that just for shits and giggles? Yeah. Yeah, I'm out of frame of perspective from where we were in the camp site. Okay, so I'm coming back down camp to try and get the frame of reference. Everybody's sleeping, except for us three. Everybody else is sleeping.